Hey guys and gals, it's Alex Olson with Exchange Commercial Real Estate here in Kansas City for another episode of the Multifamily Minute. Today is May 10th on Tuesday and just wanted to highlight what we've got going on. So as we do every single week, this is LoopNet. This is all of the available properties that have come onto the market within the last seven or eight days. A lot of these, matter of fact, all of these except for one, we covered in last week's, but since they're still available and still here, at least apparently, we can look at them pretty quickly. I'm also going to zoom back out, see if there's anything here I missed in the entire region. It does not look like it that has come on the market recently, uh, or if it has, it's already sold. So uh, let's zoom in here with this. Uh, I actually, no, I, I take that back. There is another, uh, a new couple new properties here. Let me just make sure I get it sorted correctly. Um, let's see, where did that go? Oh, here it is. Okay. So um, we may have talked about all these last time now that I'm thinking about it. But however, let's zoom into this here. Midtown, close to our office. A couple of different properties here. This one's on 38th and Penn, Pennsylvania Avenue, close to Westport, just across the street near the streetcar extension, 12 units for 1.8 million. Hefty price tag. However, I've seen a lot of things go for a lot of money, anything and everything around the streetcar. So it could be an interesting get uh, for you to take a look at, do a deep dive into what the financials are, and let's get an offer in front of them and see what they think. That's on this one here, this uh, 12 units for 1.8 million. And I think last time we also did the math, but let's do it again. 1.8 million divided by 12, 150,000 a unit. The highest I've sold uh, in that area is about 135,000 a unit. Um, I've got one off market direct to seller for less than 140,000 unit, completely fully renovated and stabilized with excellent rents. So that's something to consider when you're looking at that property and, and really any of these properties, see what I might have. It's gonna be similar on market. This one here is a new one. Uh, it's a five, five plex on Washington Street. I myself has a, have a five plex here on the other side of Maine. Uh, this is probably, in a, well, I don't know, about the same kind of location. Mine's next to the streetcar. Uh, this one here is, I think, fully stabilized, probably has some high rents on there, probably has some Airbnb properties, 775. Um, that is also, let's see here, once, uh, see so 575 divided by five, that's 100 and, no, 775 divided by five, that's 155,000 units. So similar price per unit. I think that's what you'll see the trend here is anything on this Main Street corridor is going to continue to creep up to the $200,000 per unit range, especially on these smaller properties, call it less than 20 units or so, less than 30 units. All right, zoom back out. So that's Midtown, close to where I'm at right now, sitting. Again, everything here, last seven, eight days on the market. This one here is uh, a series of, I think it's single family homes. There might be a duplex in here for 1.6 million. Uh, let's click on it and see how many, 12 units, okay? So a lot of houses maybe, or a couple of houses, duplexes. Could be a very interesting portfolio. Gorgeous renovation looks like. Um, depending on the rents that these have, this could be an, an interesting fit for anybody that is looking to get a quality asset in a class A market. I don't wanna to spend too much time on that because we don't deal a lot with single family homes or portfolios. However, we do have this other one that just hit the market, 54 units, North Park apartments off of Russell Road. I believe this was an unpriced uh, apartment complex just north of North Kansas City uh, in Avondale. Matter of fact, we had a couple of properties that are kind of in this range that are pseudo off market, meaning they're not quite ready to, sellers are not quite ready to sell. Uh, however, this 54 units, my guess is call for offers here um, will be coming up quick. Let's see, 
don't see anything there. Uh, however, it does have some three twos, which is nice. Anyway, um, be interesting. We'll keep an eye on that one to see what, what comes of it. Excellent submarket location. Looks like some pretty nice units. Uh, roofs aren't completely black. That means that they're not at least 100 years old. Uh, it's even got a clubhouse here. So depending on the price, could be an interesting uh, property here. All right. So let's go back to here, see if we missed anything. All right. We didn't miss anything. So there are actually some properties on market here recently. Nothing I would consider a home run. However, some interesting uh, properties to consider when you're looking at your 1031 exchange. Okay, so that'll do it for LoopNet multifamily. And then let's go ahead and check out the MLS. Again, I use... Um, Zillow for that to power the MLS listings because it has a nice search feature and I can get to it all the time. Anytime I recommend you do the same. I've already done a look at this. There's nothing new that's come on the market here. We had several new ones last week uh, hit the market with uh, some 10 units, some duplexes, again, those um, uh, 18 units, or maybe this is a, yeah, it's a different set of units that look <laughs> similar to the ones that are downtown. Uh, so we've seen all these in the past, so nothing major new. This is a fourplex for 550 in North Kansas City. Um, let's make sure this is only showing it's available. Okay, good. So um, interesting opportunities out there, but nothing new this week. This is new construction. Uh, and not something I could really get behind unless you were very high on new construction. We can take a look at it together. Okay, so since we don't have, really have too much new to look at here, I do think that there are a couple deals. This is an interesting fourplex uh, for 550. Uh, this right here is an interesting set of multifamily properties. This is an interesting, looks like a very large duplex. Uh, a good uh, set of properties over here on Robinson and Lowell. Um, and then we get into some stuff that's been sitting out there for a while that I don't think has too much value. This I know is under contract. This is Parkway Gardens off of Paseo. So make note of that. Uh, so anyway, I think we'll see some of these other ones go under contract here shortly if they aren't already. Um, you know, because there, I, I know many of the brokers there, and, and uh, if you want to reach out to me, we can talk more about those and see where we go from here. Okay, so now let's go to with with nothing zoo on Zillow this week. Let's go back to what we have off market. This is Google Earth, and we have a direct to seller. We don't usually do this, but um, we have a direct to seller listing. It's not a listing, misspoke there, off-market deal uh, to where he's rehabbing these four units, sorry, these four buildings for a total of 24 units, four sixplexes. You can see that it is a gorgeous location. Look at all those parks, uh, development all around. This is Gillum Road or Boulevard here that goes up and down the city, beautiful drive, large parks here and here. This is the old Westport High School. You may have heard of Westport. This is the high school that they are currently, as of this moment, redeveloping into multifamily. Uh, let's see if we can zoom just a little bit back this way, about three or four blocks. This is the Kansas City Art Institute. Okay, so a lot of students will go there. Uh, Kemper Museum of Art is right here. This is a lot of American century uh, buildings. And then of course the plaza is not too far over. So sorry, this is not quite north to south, but I wanted to pause it here so you could see all this green space and how close it is to um, everything else. So let's zoom in a little bit on this here. And I have a drone video of this and I have 3D tours of this property. Uh, and if you look here, Plenty of off-street parking, uh, plenty of on-street parking. 
We also have all central heating and cooling, beautiful, gorgeous renovations. Again, cheaper than what you're going to see on the market right now in Midtown and with exceptional rent. So this is going to be a good buy for somebody on a 1031 exchange that wants a solid appreciating cash flowing asset for the right price at the right time. So again, hit me up if you're interested in anything you've seen here today. And I'm happy to talk about uh, the market in general. I do look forward to hearing from you. Again, this is Alex Olson with the Exchange CRE Multifamily Minute. We will talk to you soon.